Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. This is Luca and I'm here with Lorenzo who made top eight at YCS Utrecht. Please, what deck did you play? So I ended up in Swiss nine win, one draw and two losses and I lost in top eight. Uh, we decided to bring uh, TR Laments uh, Runic because also called Il Mazzo Josiman because um, we think that the, the uh, TR Laments engine was pretty good uh, with the Runic engine because you can mill a lot of cards, so you can have a fountain that always draw free uh, and was uh, work out pretty well this weekend. So uh, first of all I have to shout out um, Luca Benuzzi and uh, Andrea Sessa, we built the, the, the deck uh, all together, also Germano and, um, and Andrea. Uh, I only trained two or three weeks for this fight because I have to bury my best friend, so uh, I dedicate this fight to him. So, let's see the deck. Yes. So we for the tier elements, yes. we um, we decide to play uh, ten tier elements. Uh, this is the best one because you can mill this and you trigger this. So this just one because you yes. you may just Kaleido or whatever. Tough stuffs, mirror matches. While this is the strongest because you can go normal summon him and special summon another, and you always make Todd. And then you go with the full combo. Yes. Then we decide to play three gamma and one driver because um, the thing is we expect a lot of flanderies this tournament, uh, but also we against Sprite is is good, uh, against Valor is good, uh, um, but against Shifter is the best card because they drop Shifter on Sharon or just on Foolish Brutal Goods or any runic cards, and then you can just drop gamma and uh, what so, work out pretty well. The, the most important thing about the Gamma is of course uh, the outing uh, the shifter but it's a very strong end trap in general and uh, also the fact that uh, you wanted to have uh, something that was uh, good and synergic uh, in going second uh, also because you can declare battle phase yeah. and make plays with your extra deck with that we will talk about later. So now uh, we want to play the Crystal Beast Engine. It's the strongest uh, so, thing of the day, probably. Um, the thing is, this is not a brick because you can fu it's a fusion material, so you can fuse it, and you can fusion summon Kit Kalos with it. So okay. you, if you mill this and you have this, you can just fusion summon and then you solve this. Yeah. This is the really good to draw because you can just discard it with a runic card and this yes. is uh, to mill this. Yes. So this can search uh, two uh, uh, Fountain or Pearl Reino. Yes. We decide to play two Pearl Reino, not three because uh, you play just four and uh, not one because you can mill this. So, uh, and two Fountain because you have to, to, to play two for, uh, for the combo, but uh, it's really good at two. The reason why the deck is obscene is that uh, this card is not once per turn. Yeah. So you can activate it three times at turn one and draw nine cards plus one of Garura. Then for the runic spells we play uh, three tip, three slumber, three flashing fire, three destruction, and uh, the three freezing courses and three flashing fire. This is the staples one. Yes. And then we added uh, uh, one extra runic, so one dispelling, because we think that uh, it's really important to draw two. Uh, runic cards, yes, and then we decided to play 42 cards in total, correct. And um, and this because uh, Luca is playing why, yes. So basically, this, uh, of course, is a different name, and uh, the fountain and the extra deck monsters uh, are not once per turn, while these type of cards are once per turn. These are the only the strongest one, these two, because they can be activated even with the occupied uh, extra monster zone. Uh, during your own turn um, but this is very strong uh, at the grind game uh, because it uh, makes the effect to discard a card uh, that uh, is added from the deck to the end except during the normal draw phase and uh, very 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 good uh, throughout uh, all the tournament this is for the runic spells uh, pretty pretty stable pretty strong one instant fusion uh, really good you can summon also the the other fusions and then three super poly we yeah. decide to play super poly uh, i love this card it's one of the, my best uh, in my, my favorite cards so 
the thing is, uh, Super Poly is really good against Sprite going second, and is really good against Tyramans going second also, because you can just, if they ended up the turn like Totally and Dweller, you can just shot this. And, um, but also it's really good to, um, to do it also in, uh, on your own monster. Uh, is uh, is a defensive and offensive card, so yes, I really like this. The, card. the reason why we choose this uh, is a choice of Lorenzo is to because this is very very strong also going first, uh, uh, but it's still a board breaker, and then uh, the other board breaker uh, will be in the side deck, and we'll explain you why also. Uh, yeah, this is for the main deck. deck uh, Forty-two cards. Uh, we have uh, these two. And this, so basically this adds the field spell and this uh, is a very, very, very strong card going second. This adds it from uh, the graveyard back. So these were pretty strong. With this you can make just gigantic uh, to, uh, to, f to make totally. And with this you can make uh, rank 4. Also, you uh, chain lock the, the fountain. Right? Yes, with this you chain lock the fountain and most important thing, you... Many times you are able to bait the impermanence of the opponent with this and then you resolve your kit colors and do the full combo. Uh, this is the fusion package and uh, yeah, so these all uh, recycle themselves. Yeah, well, it was pretty good because you can always recycle uh, uh, the, the fusion with the other fusions. So. This is Table Kaleido, you... Mirror match this. and the stuff difficult yeah. to take out. These ones. This is for the mirror match, and this is for triggering your turn share, and basically, uh, yes. stable. Because you can uh, do the runic spell, uh, also normal summon shrine uh, with the runic spell, and do stuff. This, this. Um, so. Stable in the combo, you can just make gigantic summon merly, doing elf, uh, elf summon another merly, and, and uh, do totally. This is pretty much staple, Darko staple, Elf uh, staple. Darko, sometimes you make it at turn one in order to send to the grave uh, the Garura and then you yeah. gigantic sprite with it. And then uh, one uh, one goddess because uh, we wanted to have an out to Avramax. Yes, uh, we know that many good uh, uh, sprite runic lists were playing uh, Avramax. So and it's we have good. to play an out. So for the side deck, Let's we cut. played uh, three Lava Golem because, uh, uh, so, we decided to play it just in the side deck because we were scared about on um, plunder so um, we decided to play it in the side deck not in the main deck the deck doesn't lose to doesn't insta lose to abyss dweller this deck yeah. but it loses uh, pretty hard to shifter also so, canceller is now and also and also to to canceller but uh, this was pretty solid, but we expected many, many different type of versions of deck so, uh, at the beginning of the tournament. And then three Nibiru, uh, because the thing is, uh, Golem protect you to Canceller, and Nibiru protect you from Virus. This is the, the thing. But Nibiru is uh, generally good um, for uh, decks too. Yes, combo decks. Um, I Rika. Yeah, it's really generic card. Um, I enjoyed the card. Then for the back rows, uh, and also this is a pretty generic card. We played the, we just played two cosmic we, because we decided to play one word in of wrestling because we we played in the medic full spirit goods and uh, six destruction. Yeah, six. So you can mill this is uh, good, and um, yeah. Thing. Then for going first, we decided to play one secret village just for Flander or f for strange decks. You can just yes. make the just for Flander because um, against Sprite Runic, uh, mo a lot of plays, uh, players play a uh, Lava Golem. So if you um, if you ended up with the Darko and uh, Secret Village, they just tribute it and uh, yes. it's GG. So we decided just to play it against uh, Flanderies. And then uh, we're um, three skill them, but we decided to cut one skill them for a call by because we wanted to have uh, at least four outs um, of shifter for shifter. And skill them was uh, pretty good. Uh, 
uh, all over the tournament. It's very synergic with the elements and uh, runic cards. Uh, after you add the fountain, they do not care about uh, having skill yeah. drain on the field. And then uh, for uh, time rolls, one moon. Yeah, this pretty standard. And this doesn't get impermanent or nothing like that. So this is the deck. Um, pretty much all was really, really good. And um, yeah. Uh, See you at the next event. Yeah, do better the next event.